What I want to do is walk you through Automation Studio, more specifically about how to do electro-pneumatics. What I'm going to do is put some components up, like solenoids and limit switches, and build a ladder logic and show you how to link all of the components. We're also going to do timer, so I'll show you how to set your timer. Okay, let's jump on my computer. I put some basic stuff on here that you know how to put on here. We're not focusing on that. We're focusing on how to actually do electro-pneumatics. So I'm going to add the components and stuff in, but first thing I'm going to do is just go over here. So I'm just going to go to pneumatic and then I'm going to go down, wait, I'll go over to electrical. Now right here in electrical, I'm going to grab this 12 volt. I'm going to put this guy here and I'm going to put my zero over here. I'll just put them here for now. I can spread these a little bit later. I need to put components i need to put some limit switches in here and i need to put a valve in here with a solenoid the thing about automation studio is that when you put a solenoid valve in there so let's go for pneumatic let's go for directional control valves five two and let's put this guy in uh, i want a spring return there there we go nice so i'll just dump that guy in now you'll see that this is coming up this I can't name this at this time because I need to associate it with a solenoid that's here. So until I get a solenoid here and name that solenoid, I can't name this guy, but I can put that there. That's not a problem. So I can throw that there and let's continue with some components over here. I need to put limit switches over here. So again, I'm just going to go back to pneumatic and I'm going to go for sensors. Other. Here we go. Perfect. Other, so this is a proximity sensor. Um, so it's a read, sense, read sensor and it's a limit switch. There are other kinds as well that you can use. You can use this one as well and there are others as well, but this one is gonna work for us. I'm gonna put this right here and I'm gonna name it. So that's LSA minus. And I'm just gonna click on that and I'm gonna hit this guy, copy paste. I just did um, control C and control V copy paste and I got two of them but I can actually go in here and change this so I've clicked on here I'm gonna go for that so I just double clicked it and I went into the variable assessment so I could just double click that any any component you can double click and you can go in and change the component about information and all the values and stuff first of all I just want to make sure that's lined up here so I'm gonna go over to my cylinder and I'm gonna go to my builder and I'm going to go over here and I want to extend it 100%. I want it to be fully extended. The reason, yeah, the reason I want that is so that I can line that guy up. So I'm going to grab this guy and move him over. And now we're done. Let me put this guy back. Go to my builder, my data, and builder. I can also go, I can go to uh, the other one as well, but I'm just doing this. Whoa, zero, zero. I think that'll work. Good, that's retracted. So now let's get into the meat of things here. I need to put some stuff in here. So I'm gonna go over to electrical and I'm just gonna close my pneumatic up for now. I want actually push buttons. So I'm gonna go for a switch. I wanna normally open push button. So I'm gonna put that over there. And right there, I'm just gonna name it start. Good. Now I wanna put a relay in there. Coils, electrical, I can just click on that. There'll be a relay coil in here. Cool, a coil. So I'm gonna put a coil in there. Um, <clears throat> RC1, pardon me, still dealing with my bad throat. So I got my coil. Now I'm gonna need a holding circuit in here and that's fine, I can put that in. But the reason I need a holding circuit is because I've got a spring return. So before I go ahead and do that, I wanna add some more components. I need a solenoid. So I got one right here. I'm just gonna throw a solenoid in here. This is gonna be sol. A plus. I just double click it and then I can change the name of it. So now watch this. When I click on this guy, I can associate it or link it to this. I'm gonna click on that and here we go. So now this is this is where I'm gonna name it. Over here, the, this is a list of all of the components that are actually on the drawing right now. Yeah, it looks like there are a lot of components, but there are. I mean it, it actually identifies every single little component on here. I think it even identifies the text that's on there. So I'm just gonna look for my solenoid A plus, elemental P, Q, R, S, solenoid A plus. I'm gonna double click it, right? Double click, double click, and boom. It's now that, now when I close this, you'll see that this guy actually says A plus. So let's go ahead and fill these things in. I'm gonna do that and that 
and then you'll probably see something right now that you're kind of thinking maybe what am I doing wrong I want to normally open contact I'm gonna put that there I know I need a normally open contact because I need a holding circuit I'm gonna go down here these are again these are all the components that are on the drawing right now I'm gonna look for RC1 relay coil one there it is it popped up there so now they're linked and I'm just gonna do this guy and this guy we're getting there and I'm gonna go here now I need to bring this over to here but there's no line there so I'm just gonna hit escape I'm gonna do this bring it down to there double click it there I'll probably maybe I'll need more maybe not I'm not sure so now I can take this guy and bring him over here so now I've got something going on so let's press play on this and see what happens I'm gonna hit I'm gonna go into my demo mode and it goes out looks good and it stays out so it's working so now this is where it gets complicated we're gonna have to put a timer in here I want information from this guy I don't actually need that but we'll just leave that there for now so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a timer in here oh coil with on delay there are different ways to find this but it's right here in electrical control so I'm just gonna take it coil with on delay it's not actually called a timer it's called coil with on delay so I'm gonna put that guy there and then I need I need to call it something so t1 done I'm gonna take this guy and oops a daisy link him over here now I'm gonna drive that with something don't worry about setting this now I'm gonna drive this with something and I need to drive it with this guy because when it gets out what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press play it's gonna go out it's gonna wait for four seconds and then come back um, so what I need I actually need some kind of contact for this guy now it's a normally open it's not held closed because normally this is in so I'm just gonna grab my normally open I'm gonna throw that in there and now oh it wants to it wants to know what it's called oh okay let's call it something I'm gonna click on the actual component again I'm gonna go over here and find out what I want to associate it with I want to associate it with LSA plus so I'll just double click it and we're done there it's now called that it's associated those guys are linked together now I'm gonna take this guy and put him over here and I'm gonna take this guy and put him over here cool all right now this is where we get into the meat of how to set these things again I'm just gonna click on this guy and I'm gonna go in here and this is gonna tell me all of, when I go to data this is gonna tell me all of the information about that coil now just heads up if this guy I remember this drove me crazy <clears throat> this guy was on it's a favorites button so it it will show just the the main things that are used in this so if you click this it's only showing the favorites but if you unclick it it shows everything so over here we're going to go into time so we need to choose what kind of timing we want I want seconds and milliseconds I could go for milliseconds and then do 4,000 or I could just do this and say four so I'm gonna just click on that just type in four and now I have to hit actually I have to hit this guy and that will assign it if I hit this it'll actually show it watch this so now it actually shows four seconds I'm gonna go back in there and I'm gonna unclick that guy if you don't want it to show four seconds it won't so now we're all hooked up let's press play check it out see how it works I know that that is in the right spot because I extended this so we'll see how it works you might see there's a problem oh, is it? oh it's stuck the timer is going it's probably working but I haven't completed it and this is where <clears throat> I waited until the end because I wanted to show you how to move stuff around I need to put a normally close contact in here oh it, it doesn't fit if I just drop it in there it'll kind of look a little tight so I'm just gonna actually close that I'm actually gonna delete that for now what I want to do is I want to grab this whole thing and I want to move it over a bit I got a couple options one is I can actually drag it with the mouse or if I want to be really accurate <clears throat> pardon me if I want to be really accurate I can use my keyboard so I'm actually gonna watch this I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put that say right there so I have the room I'm gonna again use the keyboard I'm just hitting the arrow key okay here we go I'm putting my normally closed in ready here we go and boom I'm putting it in now so now I want to connect that with t1 done there we go close it up and there we go I kind of like to make this I'm gonna use my arrow key 
just so I don't, because I want to move it, but if I moved it, I might do that. So I just want to put it over there, and I, I like to make things kind of a little bit even. I kind of, I'm not even feeling this is even. If I wanted to move this, and I did that, yeah, see, it gets weird. So I'm just going to hit Z, and Z again, and then one, one more time. I'm going to do this. I'm selecting it. Now I'm going to use my keys. Now it's kind of central, and I'm actually going to move this over a little bit. I kind of like the look of that. Okay, here we go. Actually, I'm going to move this over just one more. Because I don't quite like the look of all of that. It's got to be pretty. So that when people look at it, they feel right about your work. Okay, now, let's press play and see what happens. Okay. Goes out. Waits four seconds. Waits four seconds. And then it goes back. Nice. There, it killed it. And it's, it's done. So that's how you do all of that. Uh, you know, just as you add components, just to note, if you add any more components, like if I were to add another, uh, let's go in here back to pneumatic. If I were to go for a directional control valve with a solenoid on it, there we go. I'm just going to put that there. It's going to have a name and it needs to be associated with something over here. I can actually associate it with solenoid A as well, but that's not quite right. So you go over to electronics. Pneumatic and you go to electrical and you go down here and you find yourself a solenoid and you drop that in. Now, when you name that solenoid, sol B plus, I believe B minus. Well, this is not quite a minus. That's a better minus. So now I can associate that, um, these two. When I click on this, now I'm going to find that solenoid B minus over here. Solenoid B minus over here. So I double click it. Now, when I put this anywhere or whatever I drive with this thing, um, whenever I energize this, this will become active. Good. So I'm going to kill that and kill that. And that's your demo. Give me an email if you need any, uh, any help with that. And if you want my email, if you don't have it. Oh, goodbye.